Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Race. Man, so glad to have you here. Uh, I know the last couple of days we've been having some volume issues, so I had to get those completely fixed. Um, I think i am got a little bit of the problem solved, but I've ordered a new uh, microphone that should be here tomorrow, so hopefully that should be solved completely. But I'm just speaking a little bit louder today, and uh, I think one of the issues I resolved a little bit, but you'll let me know in the comments. So Anyways, we are here at the Daily Race. We are kicking off our day with the Lord, and I am excited about today because today we're talking about loving people different than us. Uh, Jesus' command to love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, now, first, when we hear that, love your neighbor as yourself, you think neighbor, someone just like me, someone that lives next to me, someone that you know I do life with. I'm supposed to love people in that way. Uh, but when Jesus actually gave this command, one of the Pharisees, one of the religious leaders said, hey, uh, who's my neighbor? And Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan. And he described someone who was very different than them. Different social status, different ethnicity, different religion. Uh, someone about as far, far from who they would consider their neighbor as they might imagine. And as the account goes, Jesus tells the story, once again, it's a parable to illustrate a point, that there is this Samaritan, or, or there is this Jewish man walking across the load, road on the way to Jericho, and he's attacked by bandits. And a priest comes by, and a Levite comes by, and neither of them stopped to help this man, who was one of their own countrymen. But a Samaritan came by, who was a sworn enemy of the Jews, uh, who was cast aside, who was not talked to, who was, you know, and it went both ways, by the way. This was a, a mutual um, dislike of the Jews and the Samaritans. But he stopped, and he took care of the man. And he not only fixed his wounds, took him to a, an end, and just went over and above. Jesus, of course, in his parables, goes over and above in the extreme to paint this picture of this grand gesture of compassion. And Jesus said, so who in this uh, passage was a good neighbor to the Jewish man? And of course, it's a Samaritan. So what does that mean? It means everybody. But here's where it breaks down, is we are normally inclined to love people that are like us. Uh, that live in our areas, that have the same interests as us, that have the same background as us. That's just human nature. Um, what God is calling us to do is to step out of those comfort zones and love everyone. Love people who are different than us. Love uh, the neighbor that doesn't look like us, that doesn't talk like us, that doesn't act like us. Uh, that is how we break this down. You know, when we think about these, uh, this tendency, we call this bias. We have biases in life, uh, that we default to certain ways of thinking. We default towards certain ways of doing things just because it's comfortable, right? I mean, most biases come from comfort, uh, not necessarily from an evil within us, not necessarily from you know a desire to cast people out. We just feel more comfortable because it's easier to be around people that understand and are just like us. But God's love is bigger than that. And that's the point here. God's love is for everyone. And if God's love is inside us, then our love needs to be for everyone. And we're going to have to do some uncomfortable things. The only way that we break down these biases is being intentional, stepping across lines, and showing compassion. We break down bias with acts of compassion. So what are some of those biases that you can cross over today? Maybe when you see people on the side of the road, you think a certain thing about them and the decisions that you believe they've made that got them to that point, which may or may not be right. They could be right. They could have made some poor decisions. They could have had some things happen to them, but that's not the point. The point isn't to decide and make a determination how they got there. It's what can I do to show compassion? Maybe it's someone that lives in a different part of town or just a part of town that you don't feel comfortable going in. Uh, maybe it's a group of people. Maybe it's a uh, department at work. <laughs> we create biases in the workplace. Different departments don't like to work with other departments, and crossing those lines is difficult to do sometimes. The point is, be intentional today and overcome your bias with an act of compassion. That's a physical act of love. Doing something tangibly, helping them out, giving a resource, lending an ear, but breaking down bias with compassion. That's Jesus' next command to love in the great challenge. Uh, the very first week we talked, or yesterday we talked about breaking down selfishness with generosity. And the first uh, day we talked about breaking down privilege with service. Today is breaking down bias with compassion. 
Help you find a way to do that today. Let's pray. Lord, we love you. And we thank you so much for just your example that you gave us, God, that, that you, you love so unconditionally. And God, may we love in that same way. May we recognize our, our biases. May we recognize our comfort zones, uh, our, our, our groups that we feel comfortable being with most of the time, and help us to push those boundaries. Help us to step outside of those and, and love all people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Well, hey, I hope you have a great rest of the day and uh, look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now on the next Daily Race. Love you guys.